Hello and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best MediaTek unlocking software that will do most of your unlocking jobs. And uh, after that, I will demonstrate to you using this phone, uh, trying to unlock this phone that is, is locked to the password. So let's get to the video. Now, what you can do, you can head over to my video description and you'll find the link that will bring you to this very page. Now, when you are in this page, click on the download button to start downloading this software. Now, once the software downloads, you're going to navigate to the file that you've just downloaded. This is the file, so I'm going to go ahead and extract this file. So I'm going to extract this file. And after the file extracts, I'm going to double click to open it. And uh, this is the tool, it's called TFT uh, tool. And this is at version 3.5. But uh, right on the download button, you will download version 7. So this is more updated. And uh, click on accept the agreement and click on next. Now it brings this password window. And on the password window, you will have the password setup password right here. So open this and you'll get the password as TFT in caps. Copy and paste it right here. So click on next and click on next, create desktop shortcut, click on next, install, and and just give it a minute for the installation to complete. So once the installation is completed, then click on finish, and we are going to launch the software. So this is the software right here, so we are going to open the software. And this is TFT MTK module. The good thing with this is that you don't need to be online to, to run this. So you don't need internet. You can use it offline, right? So. So this is the interface of TFT MTK module. And this is at version 3.5. But remember, the version you downloaded will be 7. So this is more updated. So, and, and I don't know the time you downloaded this, maybe they could have even updated it more. So, so make sure right on the setup storage, make sure it is set to auto. And right here, whichever boot mode you select is going to be working perfectly fine. So I like to keep it at the default. And uh, this is on direct operation. So when you switch to unlock operation, this is where you will do most of the unlocking jobs from. So right on the unlock operation, you will have the brand of the phone that you are going to unlock. And uh, with the brand, you have Realme, Oppo, Vivo, Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, Konda, Coolpad. So a lot of a lot of brands, right? Hisense, Infinix, Motorola, Techno. So and remember, these are MTK chips powered phone, right? So don't expect any Spectrums or, or Qualcomm's or Snapdragons, right? So let me check Infinix. Infinix, uh, you can see what it is. Um, so very many, very many models, very many models. These are all Infinix, right? These are all Infinix models. So let's check on Techno. Phantom 6, Fa Phantom Z, Phantom 6 Plus, Common 7, Common 8, Common 9, Common 9 Pro, Common 12, AR 16 Pro, Common CX. So most of Techno, actually MediaTek powered phones, you'll find them here. And even if you don't get your model right here, then you can always find the auto right here. So that means you have a Techno phone, but you cannot check, you cannot find your model right here. You can go ahead and select this auto option right here and the phone will detect the chipset as long as it's a mediatek powered chip so make sure always <coughs> before you before you before you that you have confirmed that your phone is actually a mediatek powered chip then you go ahead and select auto if you cannot find uh, your model listed right here and uh, even even here in the blends you see you also have auto right so if you're not sure, for example, you're not sure which phone you're going to unlock, but as long as you have detected a MediaTek chipset, then you can go ahead and select Blend Auto. And in the model, you also have Auto. And then you can go ahead 
and do your unlocking. So let's go to the function. The functions we have reset FLP, the most useful one, and uh, reset FLP, this is a less method. You also have factory reset and FLP, reset pin, reset screen lock, so unlock bootloader, relock bootloader, a backup. Uh, remember, so pretty much most of these and the most useful ones we are interested in FLP and factory reset. These are the most important ones. So uh, some unique brands like Xiaomi, uh, you also have these features, remove MI account. Um, and I think somewhere we also had a resume account. So this is it with unlock operation. So when you go to extra operation, this is where you will do uh, most of the flashings from. So if you want to flash a phone, this is where you can drop your scatter file right here. So you drop your scatter file, then you can go ahead and do your flashing. So in function, you can back up your NVRAM or you can write your NVRAM uh, by simply load it right here, either write or back it up. So then ADB or fast mode. So here you can also, for example, for the sake of Xiaomi, you can MI account disable or you can bypass MI account, but through the ADB mode. So if you have the have ADB mode enabled on your phone, then you can go ahead and, uh, and uh, disable the MI or bypass MI account uh, in your MediaTek powered phone. So you can also read info through ADB. You can reset FLP through ADB, reset uh, pin lock uh, through ADB. This is once your phone is enabled ADB, then you can go ahead and perform these functions. So you can also read through fast boot, fast boot, fast boot, and you can read, uh, re you can reset FLP. You can, uh, you can read the info in fast boot mode. So let me just go ahead and, and uh, try to unlock this phone and uh, pretty much see how this software works and the user interface basically. So as I told you earlier on, uh, this is a Redmi phone. It's a Xiaomi phone. It's actually uh, a Redmi 9C. So we are going to go ahead and unlock it and, um, and see if we can unlock actually using this software. So we go to unlock operation and uh, we have Xiaomi selected. So this is 9C, 9C NFC. So we are going to, we are going to do, mm, I'm going to do factory reset and <clears throat> tap on start button. So, but before that, before that, before that is something that we talked about in the previous video, which is, and, and I just talked about it right now. So before you perform any function on the phone, first confirm the chipset. And in the previous video, I talked about how you can confirm or how you can, can identify your phone's chipset using platform detector. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to link it in the video description. You can go ahead and watch it and see how to do it. So I have my platform detector. And I'm going to connect my phone just to confirm the chipset that is running in this phone. So just going to power off the phone. <clears throat> okay. And once the phone is off, press both buttons and connect to the computer. Okay. So as you can see, this is a MediaTek uh, powered phone and uh, preloader is off. So. We are going to go ahead, after confirming this is a MediaTek phone, we are going to go ahead and now perform the unlocking. So we tap on the start button and uh, we are going to wait for waiting device. So waiting for device connection. So, okay, volume up and connect. And, <clears throat> okay, let's wait. <laughs> and it's done operation complete please disconnect device and reboot it manually so let's try to rebuild okay So as you can see, the phone has opened up, but as you can see, this lock up here, so indicating that it is locked to FRP. So I'm going to go ahead and and unlock the FRP using this software again. And uh, this time, let's take it that we don't know the brand of the phone, but we have 
confirmed it is a MediaTek powered phone. So let's say we don't know the brand of the phone and we are not sure of the model, right? So we select auto and auto right here. So we are going to say reset FRP and start. So let me just power off this phone. So you are going to press volume up button and connect USB. Okay. So the computer detects it and it is running. <coughs> and good. So let's disconnect the phone and try to power it on. Okay. So the phone powers on. And boom, here is our phone. It is unlocked and ready to go. So this is it, guys. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.